so hey guys welcome back once again and in this video i'm gonna talk more about stable diffusion 2.1 and how to have funds with embeddings in stable diffusion in this video i'm also gonna talk about how do i enhance these images using different model in stable diffusion so let's get started so now here i am using version 2.1512 model and the next thing i'm using is three of my favorite embeddings that i'm using the first embedding is mid journey embedding the next is egyptian sci-fi and the third one is Kempunk embedding. The link will be already in the description. You can download it from there. So now let's get started. So first of all, this is the prompt that I'm using. Octane render of mass Batman ultra details, ultra realistic, sharp focus and ultra realism. So first let's try without embedding prompt. Okay, let's generate. Okay, so this is the image that we got. And now let's add embedding prompts. Okay, the first art by mid journey for mid journey prompt the next is kipa key dash 125 for egyptian sci-fi embedding and the next one is kempunk 96 for kempunk prompt and now let's try to generate with this so this is the image that we got pretty cool image and but i'm not satisfied with this okay so let's try one more time okay so we got a pretty cool image of a batman with mask so now what I'm going to do is that let's send this image to image to image. After sending on to image to image, I just want this into cybernetic style. So I will just add cybernetic style, cybernetic mass Batman. Okay. Octane render of cybernetic mass Batman. So the first thing I'm going to show you is only on stable diffusion on this model. So let's try. This is the setting that I'm using. Let's add a uh, sampling steps to study and the next thing i'm gonna show you is that cfg scale and denoising strength are the most important factor okay so i'm gonna explain this in this as well so let's see what image do we generate okay so this is the image that we got pretty cool image pretty amazing image okay i'm just satisfied with this so now what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna change this cfg scale what cfg scale does is that the more the cfg scale you add the more it will focus on your prompt okay the more it will focus on your prompt okay so let's add this to like 10 and let's see okay now let's generate i got a pretty cool image as well first of all i'm satisfied with this so this is also a cool image but still not i'm gonna go with not with this image because it's still not cybernetics some of a cybernetic style like future style but still not satisfied with it so now let's change on to another model dream like diffusion and let's see what results do we get with this so now that the model is loaded dream like diffusion one of my favorite model the next thing i'm gonna say is that the prompt that we were using for embeddings doesn't work on any other model first of all this works only on stable diffusion 1.5 2.0 and 2.1 if supported by that model okay so the embeddings doesn't work on these models okay so let's first of all delete this and let's try i'm using the same setting sampling step 30 cfg scale to 10 and denoising strength to 0.75 and let's see what results do we get so now that the image is very different from the image that we are using so now what i will do the first thing that i will do is that i will just reduce the denoising strength okay denoising strength is the most important factor first of all let me tell you first of all let's decrease this to zero and that i will show you how denoising strength works if i reduce this to zero denoising strength then let's see what image do we get okay so there is no change in this image with zero denoising state and now let's check on to max settings okay one and let's see what image do we generate so now this is the image that we got okay with max denoising strength so what we learn from this the max denoising strength will also distort your image like we will not get the exact image the exact result from the base image that we are using so for in order to set this so let's reduce this to 5 and let's see what image do we get we will try it on 0.5 and let's see what image do we generate okay so now you can see that we are getting close to this image 
like green theme and almost close to image like cybernetic style armor and okay now let's reduce this further to 0.4 and let's see 0.45 and let's see what image do we generate will we get a good result out of this let's check so as you can see we are getting very close to this image and a cybernetic style as well so first of all let's increase cfg scale as well we will increase cfg scale so that it will focus more on our prompt like octane render of cybernetic mars batman and now let's try on 0.45 only as you can see over here we are still getting very close to like a result cybernetic style okay somewhat like cybernetic style over here so we are still getting not a perfect image now let's reduce to 0.4 okay so this is the result that we are getting still a better image that from 0.75 and 0.5 still a better image and one thing i'm gonna say you is that the more you play with denoising strength the better result you will get so it depends on image also that how the results do we get. So now if I further reduce this to 3.5 and let's see what image do we get. So now you can see the image. Okay. It's pretty good image. Pretty amazing image still from my side. So the more you play with denoising strength and CFG scale, not with CFG scale. CFG scale is more towards that it will focus toward your prompt. So it's better to keep it to 10 to 15 I say. And the more denoising strength you will play with, the more better result you will get. So it totally depends on the this both style. Okay, CFG scale and denoising scale. So I mostly I play with denoising strength to get better results. So what I do is just reduce this by 0.1. And let's see. So this was one of the best image that we got. Almost what we were trying to render. So... This is another good image. See, so this is how you get good results after messing with denoising strength and CFG scale and your prompt as well. The more you play with denoising strength, the better results you will get towards what you are searching, what you are imagining for. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about how I use stable diffusion and embeddings and other models to get good results like this. That's it for today. I hope you like this video and I will recommend you to play with other models as well. There are so many models available in like online on Civit AI as well. So you can play it as well in order to get your desired result. So just play and have fun with this. So this is how I'm having fun with this model. Stable diffusion, embeddings and other models. Dreamlike diffusion is one of the best models you can get to get good results like this. So I will recommend Dreamlike diffusion. So that's it for today and I will be back with more videos tomorrow and see you soon till then. Bye guys. Love you all guys. Love you all guys. Bye guys.